Hi there, welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk about other types of equations that we might know in Cartesian coordinates that we want to see what they look like in polar coordinates. All right, so we just talked about equations like y equals mx, and about equations that look like x squared plus y squared is equal to constant squared. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to say, well, what does an equation that looks like y equals uh, y, y equals a constant look like? What does an equation that is x is equal to a constant look like? And so these are two other nice equations. So y equals a constant we know is a horizontal line. And now we'd like to write this as an equation in terms of r and theta. Now in this situation, and in the other situations we're going to deal with, if we have an equation that has x's and y's in it, what we can do is we can take the, these two equations with x's and y's and substitute them. So when we see y is equal to c, then what we do is we say, oh, y is r, cosine th r sine theta. So r sine theta is equal to a constant. And then when we're going to write equations, polar equations, we're always going to write r as a function of theta. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by sine of theta. So that's c over sine of theta. Or what we know, one, we have another shorthand for 1 over sine of theta. That's c times cosecant of theta. So if you're given an equation where it's y is equal to a constant, that's the same as r is equal to c, that same constant, times cosecant of theta. Similarly, if we have a vertical line, then that's x is equal to a constant. And so that's r cosine of theta is equal to that constant. So what we get is r is equal to c over cosecant, sorry, cosine of theta, which is c times secant of theta. So equations that look like c cosecant theta or c secant of theta are horizontal or vertical lines. Um, let me give you an ugly one, right? If let's say we had y is equal to mx plus b. Well, in that case, we have to use both of our two equations. We get that r sine of theta is equal to m times r cosine of theta plus b. Okay, so that's an equation. It's not a nice equation. Um, normally we'd like to get r as a function of theta, so let's bring all the r's to one side. We get r times sine of theta minus m cosine of theta is equal to b. So an equation that looks like y is equal to mx plus b turns into an equation that's r is equal to b over sine of theta minus m cosine of theta. Um, that's telling us that if we have an equation like y equals mx plus b, it's probably going to be easier to leave it in Cartesian coordinates. But if we really, really, really needed to put it into polar coordinates, this is what that equation would look like. All right. Let's do another type of equation that is actually kind of nice in polar coordinates. And that's what happens when we have a circle through the origin Uh, but it's centered on an axis. All right, so uh, for example, let's say that we have um, a center, the, the circle is centered at a comma zero, and it goes through the origin. All right, so we know the um, Cartesian equation for this. It's x minus a squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to some radius squared. 
right? And actually, what is the radius? The radius is the same as the, the point A, so we can write that as A squared. So we want to take this, we want to write this equation in polar coordinates. So what we'll do is we will simplify, we'll, we'll expand and see what simplifies. What do we get? We get x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus y squared is equal to a squared. All right, so a squared and a squared, we subtract a squared from both sides. Those go away. And we're left with something that looks like x squared plus y squared is equal to 2ax. All right, so now we use our equations. When we see x squared plus y squared, we think, hey, that's just r squared. And when we see an x by itself, we think, hey, that's r cosine of theta. So this is 2a times r cosine of theta. Hey, look, we can now divide by r, and we get r is equal to 2a cosine of theta. So what does that mean? That means if we are given an equation, a polar equation that looks like r is equal to 8 cosine of theta, then that is a circle centered at 4 comma 0 with radius 4. Great. Um, similarly, we could do this with a circle that's centered on the y-axis. So if we get the x minus, uh, sorry, x, so this is maybe b comma, 0 comma b, then we get that x squared plus y minus b squared is equal to b squared. When we simplify this, x squared plus y squared minus 2yb plus b squared equals b squared, we get that r squared is equal to 2b sine of theta. Oops, not r squared. That r is equal to 2b sine of theta. So, when you see an equation where you have r, so if we had the equation r is equal to sine of theta, then what that is, it's a circle centered at one half, or zero comma one half, with radius one half. All right, so those are some nice, additional nice equations that uh, show up in polar coordinates. Um, what? Let's stop there, and I'll see you shortly.